No, for his iconic afro and funny demeanour, Jason Edwards, who is popularly known by his alias as Psycho and popular catchphrase since the 80s from YOLO. I go go, I go go by the water camp. I don't know why they do this. Why? Right. Ah, of the number, you forget the number. Sick of, you know, see, how they do this since <laughs> the 80s. Is a Ghanaian actor who has featured in TV shows and commercials. Jason loves to travel and cites California as his dream destination. Hello guys, my name is Jason Edwards, a.k.a. Psycho, a.k.a. 80s for real. I'm an actor, entrepreneur, and a philanthropist. I'm here to answer your 50 questions. This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Pave Studios for the guest of the day. And the first question is, how old is your Afro? Um, I've been keeping my Afro for about seven years now. Yeah, seven years. We knew you were in prison in YOLO. Did that happen in real life? No. I haven't been to prison and I have no intention of going to prison. And um, we have, okay, if you were asked to choose a girl in YOLO as your girlfriend, who would you choose? Okay, I think Evelyn. Evelyn Galeansa. Yes. AKA Araba. Yeah, and uh, the next question is Who is your celebrity crush? Oof. Nikki Samonas. Oh, yeah. Nikki Samonas. Definitely. And the next question is, uh, how has your role in YOLO shaped your life? Oh, I think storytelling is the age-old way of transferring cultural values and customs from one generation to the other, or even of one group influencing another. And the human brain remembers anything told in a narrative more than almost anything else. And whether the narrative is in text, audio, video, or graphics, and movies are such other platforms. And YOLO taught me to be responsible and always use the condom. Yes, so it has shaped my life. Definitely, it definitely has. And the next question is, are you dating? No, I'm not, and I'm not searching. And we have, uh, why did you name yourself 80s? Ooh. <laughs> I look 80s, don't I? So it's just fair to name myself 80s. Well, I think uh, it came out of creativity, you know. Um, I, I had to come up with something people can identify me with. And I think, uh, I look 80s, so that's how come 80s. I hope that makes sense. And the next question is, I missed your face in YOLO. Why didn't you shoot the season five? Well, I didn't shoot season five because I wasn't in the country. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't in the country. Have you ever been to Niger? No, I haven't been to Nigeria, but I'll be coming there soon. All right, I'll be visiting you guys in Nigeria. Yeah, Ninja vibe. <laughs> oh, more. Where the airport? Yeah. And the next question is um... Oh, Ruby, Ruby. Yeah, Charlie Ruby. She did. I should say Ruby Day. This your hair. When you go cut them, Charlie. I don't know. I have no idea when I'll be cutting my hair and I have no intention of cutting my hair anytime soon. Maybe when I get a role that requires me to cut my hair, I will. And I'll grow it back. So yeah, that's the vibe. 
please why were you not in yolo season five and also are you part of the cast in the new series coming strike um i'm not going to confirm or deny i'm not confirming or denying but just watch out all right just watch out which shs have you completed podcast holy trinity cathedral accra high street what are your inspirations in life oh i think my inspiration my mom my mom has been a very important person in my life so i'd say my mom what's my best scene in yolo oh yes um when psycho realized he had gonorrhea you see he had a lot of things running through his head I remember, I remember that scene. I remember that scene. Vividly. Do you want a description of the scene? <laughs> Go back and watch YOLO. You understand. Yeah, that was my that was my best scene. You know, you uh Psycho realized he had gonorrhea and there were lots of things running through his head. How would he get cured? Because he had um, unprotected sex. How would he get cured? But with the help of a friend, Droba, he was able to, to get himself cured. Was YOLO your first movie? No, it wasn't my first movie, but it was, it was um, YOLO was the project that put me out there. What's your world fantasy? Wow. I think uh, a world without pain, poverty. Yeah. A world without pain and poverty. When is your next movie? Okay. My next movie will be out soon, okay? It's a series. Watch out. I'm going to keep you guys updated on my social media pages. So, watch out. What's your craziest scene ever? My craziest scene. I don't think I've had any thing like that yet. I'm yet to um, to have a scene where I would describe crazy. Yeah. So I'm here to have that. Well, which tribe are you and are you a Christian? I'm a Ghanadangwe. And yes, I'm a Christian. We won't feel my Dangwe vibe. Mudiki, it means how are you? Uh-huh. My best food, Banku. If I don't chop Bangkok one day, check like a sink. You see the vibe? Sick of Charlie, it be the it be Bangkok we are grow up from the 80s. So if I don't get Bangkok, uh-uh, then check like something they do me. So yes, Bangkok. Have you given up on acting? No, I haven't. Acting is my life. I haven't given up on acting. I'm just looking for the opportunity to uh, to sharpen that skill, to, to hone that skill and to grow as an actor. So yeah, I haven't given up on acting. Thank you guys all for your questions. Subscribe to PAVE Network on YouTube and also PAVE Ghana on other social platforms.